We need to talk about girls, and by girls, I mean Rita Ora's bop with Cardi B, BB Rexa, and Charlie XCX, because <laughs> has gone down. But why is everyone so pissed off? Let's dive in, guys. When Rita's self-titled bisexual anthem dropped last week, singers Kalani and Hayley Kiyoko criticised it on social, saying it belittled the feelings of a whole community. Right, I'm gay, and as a gay, I relate to the lyrics. I'm always kissing my best email when I've had a red wine, but I'm still gay. It doesn't matter how much red wine I've downed, it doesn't suddenly turn me bisexual or straight or whatever. So I kind of have a low-key problem with this lyric too, but I'm not a girl, and I don't know how this feels to go girls that like girls. So, I've FaceTimed two of my fave L's, Megan and Whitney. Hey girl, what is going on? Hi James. Hi James. I think whilst the song is annoyingly very catchy, it's just never been made clear that any of the artists are actually into girls. Yeah, and then all of a sudden they're having to drink alcohol to sometimes want to kiss girls. It just seems a bit suspect. It doesn't always work like that. Um, it almost promotes that, hey, I need a bottle of red wine to kiss a girl, and that's the only reason you would kiss a girl, because you had that wine. Yeah, exactly. And we don't need those reasons as wife and wife. No, we don't. It totally undermines the real experiences that LGBTQ girls face. Thanks, girls. Check out what Wagon did next on YouTube. I think one of the legit reasons people are so angry about this is because of bi erasure, which is the idea that being bisexual isn't a real thing. It's often referred to as a phase, buy now, gay later. How about buy now, buy later? Because if a woman that's bi marries a man, guess what? She's still bisexual. So having a song that says you have to be drunk to get with a girl pushes that idea that bisexuality is just something that happens when you get drunk and isn't actually real. Rita's now apologized, saying, Girls was written to represent my truth and is an accurate account of a very real and honest experience in my life. And listen, sexuality is personal and defining it is always up to you. And we know that labels are important because as minority communities, we need to be visible so that we're equal. But not everyone fits a certain label. So it's kind of important that we're all thinking about how this song could be offensive to people that have a different sexuality to yours. But I keep seeing tweets from fans like, you forced a woman to come out because her experience was different to your own. And people have also said that Rita shouldn't have to apologize, but equally, no one forced Rita and the cis squad to sing the lyrics in the first place. This is her decision, so yes, perhaps she should have to apologize for offending people, or at least offer an explanation. And I think it's actually pretty incredible that she has. Now let's talk about Cardi B. Cardi's album, Invasion of Privacy, is a powerful feminist throwdown that redefines male misogyny in hip hop. And now that Cardi is caught up in her own controversy, the stars tweeted, we never tried to cause harm or had bad intentions with the song. I personally have my own experiences with other women, with a lot of women. I thought the song was a good song and I remember my experience. Okay, fair. And hey, everyone can say, oh, everyone's offended so easily these days. But it's not actually about being offended. It's about a gay experience, love, being turned into a flippant, oh, I had a few drinks, got wavy and kissed a girl, but it didn't mean anything. Oops, look at me situation. And I'm with Hayley who said, a song like this just fuels the male gaze while marginalizing the idea of women loving loving women. I don't need to drink wine to kiss girls. I've loved women my entire life. No, not Cardi too, man. Oh. But what could have caused such an upset? Was it an invasion of privacy? An inappropriate post maybe? Well, no. Actually, I can confirm it was her latest feud with Azealia Banks that managed to kick Cardi off of her Insta. It started all the way back in September when Banks called Cardi a poor man's Nicki Minaj. And then in a recent interview with The Breakfast Club, she went on to talk about black female culture, saying that that previously there was just this really really intelligent conversation going on nationally and then everything just kind of changed and then it was like Cardi B. Azealia that's a bit harsh. Oh wait there's more. I'm just talking about this caricature of a black woman that black women themselves would never be able to get away with. Like if my spelling and grammar was that bad I'd be cancelled. If Nicki Minaj spelled like that we would be ragging on her all day. Really? Naturally, Cardi wasn't taking this and took to the gram to respond. Just because I mix up a few words and forget to use commas or misspell a few words doesn't make me illiterate and doesn't make me stupid. Yes, I completely get you, B. Like sometimes when I present news MVT, people same thing say, but I don't it see. 